So, waiting in line to play Hyrule Warriors. We're going to go ahead and film this guy playing. Um, it looks like the story is structured a little bit more differently than I thought. Uh, according to the information that we had before, it sounded like Link and Zelda already have some sort of relationship pre-game. But it doesn't seem like that's the case based on the various little pieces of dialogue that come up. Uh, one of the pieces of dialogue has Impa telling Link, uh, I'm sorry, Impa telling Zelda, hey, the, the new trainee guy is, uh, is, you know, doing really good out there, and he defeated so-and-so. And then Zelda remarks something like, oh, you know, even the smallest seed can grow a large tree, or something like that. Uh, this is interesting because this means that Link and Zelda's relationship possibly grows throughout the course of the game, which would be very interesting to see. Because in the in the few games where we've had Link and Zelda have any kind of close relationship, I mean, I guess just Skyward Sword comes to mind. It was something that existed before the game started. Not much character development there. This will be much more interesting to see uh, see them not know each other and for him to just kind of make his mark as a really as a really excellent soldier uh, training for Hyrule's Royal Guard here or I, I'm not quite sure what his exact title is but training seems to be what it is. Uh, the game points out some interesting things like uh, there will be icons and indicators showing you when a particular enemy, such as this Zalfos, is going to be weak against certain kinds of attacks, counterattacks, and whatnot. Um, so you'll you'll get some kind of indication, uh, and the screen is constantly updating with pieces of information as far as what your next goal is and when you've accomplished that goal. Um, if somebody, if Princess Zelda herself is under attack, it will let you know so you can go to her aid. Where Link is opening up the treasure chest and what does he find? He finds bombs. And, of course, can you imagine what you're going to have to do with those bombs? Well, in this little tutorial, the screen is going to tell you, it's letting you know that uh, you can go ahead and use those bombs not just against enemies, but also throwing them against things like, oh, like these boulders that have just been thrown down by these cobblers. So Link can use those, as you can see, to go ahead and attack the cobblers. But then, he can also use them to blow up those boulders. I guess reinforcements have now appeared for Dark Forces. So, that means more enemies for Link to kill. Oh, he's refilled his magic meter with a magic jar. It's letting you know about Focus Spirit and that that can do powerful attacks. Loopies everywhere! Is that super special attack. So we see the Impa is in the back there. She's under duress. It looks like half of her, a third of her health is down. So of course you'd want to go and help out Impa as fast as you can. I'm not sure how the process works if, if Impa were to die or, or get unconscious if that would be game over. Some of the stronger enemies uh, have health meters that you can see. There's also a meter that tells you uh, the whole battlefield. It says Westfield Keep on the right hand side there. Let you know that in this particular area, We've still got quite a few enemies left. As you kill them, it brings that meter down, of course. And then I guess once you uh, 
once you secure the area, it takes that meter all the way down. Look at all these. Yeah, there's the quote from Zelda. Trainee, huh? Well, from the smallest seed comes the biggest tree, I suppose. So she clearly doesn't know Link yet at this point, which is very interesting. I like that. I like the fact that this game will show them starting from ground zero, not knowing each other at all. Link makes a name for himself. Then they become close, and then at that point, uh, the evil sorceress Sia will go ahead and, and uh, see that there's some closeness between Link and Zelda and get a bit jealous. This rogue has some snarky comments for you as you're playing. Oh, okay, I guess that little message explains that once you bring the keep meter down to zero, that's when the boss appears, and then you can go ahead and take on the boss at that point. There's the keep boss, uh, because he went ahead and brought down the keep meter to zero. The keep boss doesn't look that powerful, though. It's pretty fast at defeating it. Unfortunately, as you notice, you cannot hear the music or the sound effects. That's because it is so insanely loud here on the show floor. It's just not possible. Here comes King Dodongo. Thank goodness Link has recently found his supply of bombs in our treasure chest, eh? So some of these messages are kind of inane. King Dodongo is advancing towards the castle. Really? Wouldn't have guessed. Of course, this guy is clearly a, a Zelda aficionado and knows to go ahead and throw those bombs into King Dodongo. Makes quick work, quick work of him. Is getting a bit shaky. My arm is getting tired holding this. I should have brought some kind of tripod or something. And Link is victorious. Pretty impressive finishing blow there. Mission successful. Look at all those rupees. And there we go. Thanks for watching us play this, watching somebody else play this demo. See you guys next time. Bye.